Hey guys, welcome to your YouTube channel where we talk all about the gate exam and we are studying DBMS. Welcome back everyone. A question was requested by a student from gate 2016 set 1. Gate 2016 set 1, it is based upon the normalization, the unit normalization about the normal form decomposition, the primary key and all. So quickly and briefly, we are going to solve this question. So let's start that. The question says, it was a question number 23 in the set 1 of 2016. A database of research articles in a journal uses the following schema. Schema is right here. This is a relation R, which have seven attributes. I'm going to name it volume, number, start page, end page, title, year, and price. We have seven attributes. It says the primary key of this relation is this, with four attributes. I have abbreviated each and every attribute name just by the initials of so volume number start page and end page these four together makes the primary key of the relation and the following functional dependencies exist in the schema so these are the functional dependencies so this is your fd set okay furthermore the question say the database is re, uh, redesigned to use the following schemas okay which simply means it have been decomposed furthermore okay it has been normalized or it has been decomposed in two relations. So this is the first one. This is the second one. So you have got some attributes here and some attributes here. Okay. And of course you have the common one also. Now furthermore, the, this is all the data given. Now the question actually asks, which is the weakest normal form that the new database satisfies, but the old one does not. You know, what does it simply means? It simply means what was the normal form of the older relation and what is the normal form of the newer relation so if you have decomposed into that means you have gone into the higher normal form so that you just have to find out how it should be done simple one thing primary key is given to us we just might have to think probably there are some more candidate keys which they have not mentioned so just check do you have any extra candidate key which you could also say do you have any alternate key present or not okay for that matter if i just look at the uh, function dependency set if i try to find out the closure of the attributes such that it determines all the attribute i can easily see that volume number sp and ep together determines title and price and also here so yes, they have the property to be the primary key or to be the candidate key. Furthermore, if I try to check volume and number together and try to get its closure. So like volume and number and its closure, what does it determine? Volume, number and year. Does it determine anything else? No, it does not. Because start page and end page are not coming. Okay, they are important. So if I check out again, I find there is just one candidate key which itself is a primary key okay so no more candidate keys are possible this is the only one possible if that is the case quickly find out the normal form of the relation what is a normal form you see this is the primary key completely in the determinant part so this is a good functional dependency this one is also having the primary key completely so this is also a good dependency Correct. Now here volume number is the part of primary key. Okay. Or this is part of candidate key, a key. So these are the key attributes, but not key completely. And determining what? Non-key attribute. It's determining the non-key attribute. So what does it become? This becomes partial dependency. What does it become? Partial dependency. Part of key or key attribute is determining a non-key attribute that is nothing but in the partial dependency once we know this is partial dependency what is the normal form first normal form 1nf so a relation is in 1nf first normal form and it just have one partial dependency rest of the two dependencies are absolutely good correct they are absolutely fine for up to the bcnf level so the decomposition you see what the decomposition is saying see the length of the question is definitely more, but the question have come up with all the solution in itself. You don't have to do anything. It got the decomposition done by itself. It got the primary key done by itself. You really just don't have to do anything. You see the partial dependency. I want to 
normalize it further. So for this, you make a separate relation. If you thought you remember from the decomposition part, that whatever is the dependency as a problem, you make a relation separately for that as it is. So this becomes your R2. Okay. And then after that, whatever is your dependent part, take this off from the original relation and for the remaining attributes, make a another relation. So this becomes R1. So you see it has everything. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the attributes except ear. Correct? So this is your decomposition D with two relations R1 and R2. Now it's very simple to answer. Now what does it say? Which is the weakest normal form? Weakest normal form is the lowest normal form. Okay? Lowest. Like 1NF, 2NF, 3NF, BCNF. Then BCNF is highest and 1NF is lowest. So which is the weakest normal form that the new database satisfies? So of course the new database is going to satisfy what? Of course not 1NF because 1NF was already after decomposition. It is right now in 2NF, 3NF, also in BCNF. Out of the three, which is the weakest, which is the lowest? 2NF. Answer is option number B, 2NF. Right? Yes, I mean, the only slight confusion in your mind could be, why are we not choosing BCNF? Why? Because it's asking the weakest normal form that this, relation is satisfying but the older one was not satisfying older one is not satisfying 2nf also not 3nf also not bcnf okay and the newer one is satisfying also 2nf also 3nf and also bcnf but among the three which one is the weakest or which one is the lowest that is 2nf okay and that's what makes the answer simple as simple as that so the answer for this question is option B, 2NF and I hope this is clear. If at all you have further more any other questions, be it the previous gate question, any other exam question or from your exercise book or anything, just post them down in the comment section. I'll be glad to solve them for you. I'll see you once again very soon. Bye-bye.